Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Privateer FX Asia preview, North American wrap. Uh, we discussed cable uh, in Asia yesterday. <clears throat> we were surprised there wasn't more selling. We got down to 132.92, and then it made it high in Europe. Got up to 130, uh, kind of around the European Open, London Open. Uh, 133.62 is the high. Unfortunately, we got stopped out up here near the highs, but we move on. It's always another trade. You can see what happened when Boris Johnson resigned when that headline came out. Uh, some negative news here on this part. Then Bojo resigned, and we had to move all the way down. Kind of what we were expecting was a move down toward this 200-hour moving aver average at uh, right around... 131.90. You can see the low was 131.89. Um, well, if we take a look at the daily chart, we can see the what the daily bar looks like. We did have an outside uh, bearish engulfing day forming, and then it had a late day bounce when uh, some positive news came out that May would still be running the country, and there wouldn't be a vote to oust her. So you had a, you had a you know, decent bounce from from the lows, 131.90, up to the close of 132.60 area. Um, so that was cable. Um, still, I, I think the best way to play this is just to be long volatility. Um, it's a big headline game, and I think that's going to continue for a while. Some other interesting daily charts that we looked at or Kiwi after four up days. We had a, a nice little doji day. You can see it's uh, trading higher. We still haven't taken out Monday's high. Um, but we're getting just some, th this pattern could be interesting. Uh, Kiwi, you know, is pretty, was pretty well oversold. And uh, it looks like it might be turning, turning back higher. Um, I'll get to the hourly here. If you see, so when cable when cable turned around, every other dollar followed it with uh, currency weakness and dollar strength. And uh, you can see here, like for the most part, in the New York Open here, Chicago Open, um, one seventeen ninety was the high, and it pretty much traded down and then just sideways. But it, it, it really, f mo most of the currencies came under some selling pressure during the during the New York session. So if you look at the London Open in here, 2 a.m. my time, so that's pretty much the London Open, 8 a.m. London, you had, you had um, currency strength and uh, there was talk of a dollar sell program going through and you saw it against every currency pair. And then in, when New York comes in, this, probably the same guy that was buying things like Aussie and Euro and Cable in the early morning started selling it. So it, it's a listless, sideways, very difficult, choppy market right now. Dollar yen, uh, here's the hourly. It's been straight up. Uh, we are getting close to these old uh, these old highs here, 111.15. There's an old daily high. Then we have this other one up here at 111.40. Um, what was it? Yeah, 111.40. So it's a very mixed bag. It, to me, it seems more risk on. Equities did well today, and you know you're seeing the likes of Aussie and Kiwi higher here in Asia, and and dollar yen is continuing to drag drag uh, some of these uh, risk sensitive currencies higher. There's an Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen back above the 200, uh, what is it, back above the 100 day. Um, and a lot of the indicators that we're looking at are pointing toward further equity strength, which should bode well for all of these yen crosses. Sterling yen, even sterling yen barely closed lower on the day, even with that sterling sell off today. So risk on for now, stay nimble. We got World Cup semis tomorrow. Belgium versus France should be a great game. Um, some data points out of the UK, industrial production, manufacturing production. Um, but 
looking for kind of a sideways to sideways to higher risk on type move and uh, keeping our powder dry yet again. Good luck trading. You'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.